both. Scooping in, right? Scooping in square. Pretty good. Nice spray. Right so, no, little throws of jabs in my face, my hand comes over the top. I'm leaning in a towel, it's just all the way. My hand comes over the top and I scoop it to the outside. Now, I'm not going to say what technique you can use because you've got an abundance of techniques you can cross from here. You can know, elbow, you can knee, you can set, you've got loads of options. You can scoop and grab it, uh, can you? you can scoop and grab it to start the chin. You've got loads of options, right? You wouldn't really do a double scoop, right? Like a double parry, that's why it's safe. Like if you go to jab cross, the scoop this and the scoop that is a bit much. Right? I've only really used it as a single. So if you cross a single jab, I've scooped it, or if you cross a single cross, I've scooped it. Okay? And you're basically just trying to open them up. Whenever your hands come away from your head, you're open, right? So that's why everything needs to be as tight as possible. Anytime you're a bit like this, okay, you've got gaps and targets to be hit, all right? Uh, oh yeah, it's easier if you have your hands up and touch higher, right? If my hands are three hands up and touch, my hands are level with Billy or if I'm really slow. I've got to get my hand up and over to speak it, right? Even if they're low underneath here, right? now you say normal. I've got to lift it up higher to top of it. Whenever I'm doing these moves, I'll just have my hands get right up. Because then it's just coming down and over, alright? So, you get to the front, full power jack. I'm going to speak a little bit of full power drop. And you're just going to scoop it, okay? So, singles, left one, and right one, okay? You haven't got it every time you don't want it. Whoa, sorry, I've got the wrong one. Yeah, so I can scoop one, scoop the other, scoop one, scoop the other. So, you can do it when you pause, which is fine, you can do it defensively, or you can do it bouncing on the spot, you don't just fall down, you're a fact, start to do it, okay? Yeah, right in front of the face, right in yeah, good. So that's a bit of a safety. I kind of take a little step back as well. Especially with Leon, he's powerful punch is coming forward. So let's just go. Go. You can do it in fours like one punch in Leon, uh, if I'm punching in, one uh, just 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 move back. So if I'm going like this and he starts jabbing as he's retreating, yeah, that's brilliant. So jab moving backwards. Go. Yeah, and again, go. So I can do it coming forwards as well. I can see if he's had that way. He can see if he's to be moving backwards, right? So he throws four power jabs and crosses. Yeah. I just want to scoop them. See how I'm a bit further away? Don't be here. It's just too close, it's a bit clogged up. Give yourself a bit of time and distance to do it. Yeah? See what I mean? Scoop the jab and the cross now. Scoop it just that. You haven't got to drag it. Then we'll go like this. Put it all the way over there. If he punches hard, I'll flick it out. So I put it down. Yeah? Yeah? So sure. open up the body. Right? This helps a lot. Give yourself a bit of extra distance and time. Don't be here in front of it. Okay? Wait for it to come and then give yourself that extra gap. Yeah? Okay, option number one of the scoop. Okay? You're going to use the opposite hand, so if instead of jabs in face my scoop in, I want to use my left hand straight down the middle now to get inside with my jab and then I can pull up with my cross afterwards. So when you get on the pads, watch this, I'm going to jab smash it, he's going to scoop it with his right hand and jab in, then throw the cross after. So he scoops it, he redirects it. You've got different defences, if I jab him he might block it, that's one option. Okay, if I jab him he might evade it by slipping. Okay, if I jab it, might destroy it by putting his elbow in the way. Uh, if I jab it, might count me by slipping and hitting. But the other one is called a redirection where you can parry, etc. This is redirecting by scooping. So as I jab, he moves it out of the way okay, to open up my center line and control off that. So we're going to start off, he's going to go simple combo jab cross it, right kick, have a look. Oh, yeah, still pretty. Then I throw my jab to his head, he's going to scoop it. And then throw a jab across that middle and then start down. Okay? And again, so he starts off, goes one, two, three, head kick. My jab, he scoops, he goes down across the center. That's pretty much the same time as he throws his jab, I'm already in here. And then throw it across straight after. Don't scoop it, you throw jab, wait half a second, you can bring that hand back. Yeah, or punch me. Or you might walk into that cross point. Okay, so you've got to be quick. As he jabs, you've already hit. And catch him in the eye. So I go one, two, three, hit, 
I jab and squeeze, jab and cross it. Come. This is the first one. Squeeze, jab at the centre. Go. One more time. Squeeze, jab, squeeze, jab. Pretty smooth, isn't it? There you go. Come. Just like that. Off you go! Okay, so that's the opposite hand, alright? That's when you're getting faster. That's why I do that one first. So as I jab, you can scoop it, you're already starting to throw that one as you clear my hand, alright? So that's quick. Now you're going to be on the same side. So as you throw the jab, you're going to scoop it and then step in with this punch right here. Okay, so you just scoop on the same hand you've opened up, then just step straight in, keep this left hand up in case you decide to pump me. As I move in, I'm going to throw this one right on the inside of this tight arm here. Okay, you don't go like this, great jab, you scoop it out here and then right front, it's just too much. As you jab, I just scoop and then come down here. Okay, full power, my okay. Full power. Okay, you should just get in there, just that little sneaky shot. We're bouncing, moving, punching. Do it again. Yeah, full power set. Okay, so just trying to get that little hit. And then you're going to follow up, so I scoop it across the hook, and then you can pick it off the zip one. Okay? So, we'll start off the same combo to start. We go jab across, left hook, head hit, back to start, so I jab, he scoops it, goes across, and the left hook, then we'll go and have a head hit on the end. Okay, so, one, two, three, left hit. I jab, he scoops with a stain. Hand goes with a cross, leans in on it, keep that left hand up high. Yeah. Then comes back with a hook on this side and it. Alright, that's that part time. Go. Scoot, cross, hook. Yeah. Must keep that left hand up, just the next one. If he keeps it down and he scoots this and comes through his own cross, we both get him at the same time. See? I can't block with my left arm because it's out of the way. But he can cover his shot. Get in the middle, yeah, that's it, coming back back, go again, go again, slow. So scoop it, look, he can block that punch and pace. So you can scoop it, block it. My one will hit his hand, but I can't block this one with my hands up. Okay, so just keep that left hand up and so One more time, one, two, three, hit, scoop, keep that hand up, cross the... Don't do another fight, that's it, okay? Off you go! Alright, when you're fighting, you should have the elbows in nice and tight to protect against body shot. And if I kick him, you should have his elbow in nice and tight to take the, the shot on his arm. He can block with your forearm and stuff, but he does put his elbow out nice and flappy a little bit. He's got steam under there, kick the wrist, right? So against two people, they will have a nice tight guard like this. It's hard to get into the body. So, perfect opportunity to kick me in the body is when I throw my jab and scoop it out from the side and then root straight into the body left. And that's powerful because there's no protection. When he jabs me, I scoop my body in with a kick. Floating ribs, you know, great nose, right into the body, which is in, vital organs, same on the other side. I can scoop it and then kick it to the liver. So, number three is a kick off the scoop. Obviously, don't kick hard because it's a bit tricky to get the pad there, but you can play around with it. So, you may come to grab a combo at the start, but what do you want to do? Yeah? Uh, body hook, head hook, cross it. Okay, so you're going to go body hook, head hook, cross hook. I throw the jab, he's going to scoop it to the outside, kick me in the body, and put the block. That'll be, because that's going to be a great one. So you go, body head, cross hook. Whatever, hey. Because if he just kicks me like that, look. So if he did that naturally, that's his previous term in his muscle memory, right? So he goes one, two, three, four, my elbow's there. Right? So he's just gonna kick my arm. Good example, okay? okay? So he would just kick across there, or even worse, kick my elbow and damage himself. So he does the combo, bump, 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 wait half a second, wait to into attack, then shoots and then kicks me. More sensible, isn't it? Yeah. Cool, right, one more time. Go, body hit. Up, okay? You make up the combo and you like it when you get the scoop. Yeah? So just do the scoop as before, off the jab, open up the body with a shin full power. <laughs> do you know what I mean? You want to get here and get that right up in there. Okay? You can move in or just keep it long range as well. So, okay? Flick it out as far as you can to get the space. Makes sense? Alright, off we go! Check this out. You want to get your rear hand is mainly against the cross. 
Because if I stay here and Neil drags me, I can catch it, but the problem with this is that, what, what's the problem, what's the big problem with If, if Liam throws a jab and I catch it, I've done really well catching him here, what's the problem with this? He's got the position. He what? We've done the position. Mmm, sort of, I can't reach him, but what else? What's the main problem? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. If I start my way here and catch, bang, he's still going to throw that cross, he's going to come through my catch. Right, so usually you want to do, I'd say all the time, really, is catch off the cross, right? You don't really want to catch a jab. So when he throws his cross, in slow motion, what I do, I just shoulder roll back, shoulder roll and I catch a few different things. If I shoulder roll, I go here, and I just let it reflect off my shoulder, and then I come back with my own cross. Okay. A cab is just where I shoulder roll a little bit, but I jam it at the same time. So I stick this hand here just as a bit of extra uh, defense, right? So stay where you are, crack full power. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Okay, and then I can come back with my own cross if I want to. But that's the sort of distance that you want. As you throw your cross, I just roll back, Ooh. just catch it with the rear hand, right? Okay, get me the chin. Go. There you go. And again. So you just walk back out of the frame and bring that hand just in front of you. So the same thing, don't reach for it. If I reach there, go really slow motion. So if I reach for this, so go again, yeah, go halfway, and I start reaching, look how open I am. He's going to fade that in front of me, left foot around the side. Right, so you never reach for these things when you do things. Literally, I wait for it to come last second. And I let it hit me, and I just catch it like a baseball. So baseball's coming. Big me to catch it. So I don't reach like this. This is bad. Fake the kind of look. Or just let it hit the kind of I let it come to me, okay? And just stay there. And take a little step back. Brex recover. You can come back and run stuff after. So a catch, one hit the cross. Get that. Now I'm just in front of me. Left hand has to drop. If I catch with this hand here, I can't really see what's going on because this hand's going a bit too far. If I do that, it's just not working, right? So left hand drops. No, how do you hold the thing? The face. There you go, so hit me. Hit me. Yeah, I get hit me. Okay, so you want him to try and hit you. You just rock back out all the way and just tap it with your right hand. And as soon as you got it, hit me. All right. Straight back to start to start with. Okay, all follow up with something that you want. Alright? Make it realistic, try and hit them. Let it just come to you, rock back out of the way and catch it. That's all it is, it goes from here to there. Not here. <laughs> okay? Let it come to you, rock back, little cat. That's the difference between beginners and advanced cats, right? Beginner will go like this. This is a, this is a catch. Okay, cool. When a beginner will do it, they'll be like, cool, got it. What's next? Okay, the more advanced I'm going to have to Go through this a thousand times. Get it hard. Go ahead, you don't want it. Right, go. Make your real estate move. You don't want to get every time. You can change it. Do something else. Okay? So catch. Let it come to you. You keep it as tight as possible. And then back to some. Tiny movements. Tiny movements. But it's how well you do it. Right? You don't go like this, you don't carry an uppercut. Okay, it doesn't work. As you throw the jab to my head, go to the feet. I carry it. Or if you throw the cross, I knock it to the side. Okay? My hand never crosses the middle. Okay? If I cross my hand in the middle, it means that hand goes to the front of the face. So I just knock it and then you bring it straight back to my head. Go. Oh yeah, don't overreach like this. So stop. Go slow motion. Don't go too early. Now, if I go like this and try and go too early, it's stuck to jab it. You'll fake it and then I'm going to go Alright? So Liam's going to go one, two. And I'm going to carry, carry my hands. Go back to my head. Right, open to me. Front to the coast. Yes, turn it. Turn it. Okay, and you just want to carry the punches as they go. It helps a little bit if you keep your head back. Right, if you keep your head where it is and try and do it a bit slow, okay, you're still going to get here. So when I parry, I bring my head back and touch, and then it leaves my hands sensitive. This is really good because it lets you move the hands out of the way 
to kick, etc. Or if I need to just go at it faster, I can. Yeah, so then counter back after, Jack. Now you can do stuff like that as well. So it's good for manipulating to follow the shot. So Leo's gonna go first, he goes Jack Brooks, and we'll go full speed. Yeah, and again, go. And again. And I'm just gonna wear my parry. Go. Just to get the timing. Yeah, we've got a lot of them, you can just move out if you need to. And if you want to block it, just block it, just mix it up. And when you want to parry, just add it to parry. Just to move it up halfway if you don't want to be there. Because your legs don't move up and kick to you. Stuff like that, right? Mainly for boxing though, right? okay? I say mainly for boxing, you can use it for kickboxing as well, but it comes from boxing, really. Yeah? Make sense? Yeah. One part of those, full speed, full power, non-stop, when I say switch it on, we go to those non-stop. Okay? okay. Work, watch, bubba! 